okay the good days and the bad days and um today is a bad day um thank goodness for stress balls <laughs> no seriously it's a bad day uh for a number of reasons just i've been having these like one-on-one -on -one discussions with god on like when are the breakthrough moments gonna happen like um, sitting in traffic and stressed and the things that I have on my heart and the things that I see um, breakthrough in and I really felt like God is telling and if any of you are in four ways area right now it's crazy there's traffic there's construction there's just like oh, it's stress it's stress living in Gauteng always is stress <laughs> um and with everything financially it's, it's tough right now it's tough at this particular moment for many people i know and including myself and i've been going through this whole battlefield of not letting financial circumstances define my happiness or yeah Anyways, and going through this, I, like, it's funny, God's very funny, he's a very funny guy. <laughs> he says to me, can you just like four ways, you can see something's about to happen. You can see that those buildings are going to be beautiful <laughs> and that there's going to be life and energy moving through um, the heart of four ways. Um, but you see, I need to build. I got a lot of work to do. I got to construct. And just like four ways, more and the area where we live, I've got to do some work in your heart. I, I'm building things. I'm constructing. So can you stop being impatient, Kanya, and let me do my work? Yeah. You're funny. And so... I let him do my work today. <laughs> I got to Nickel Lane after sitting in traffic and stuff, and I had a car guide come up, a uh, car, uh, car cleaner come up to me. And they, in South Africa, these guys in the parking lot who like to clean your car, and you pay them, and they clean your car, and you come back from the shops, and your car's clean. But I ain't got no money for that, um, and my car's very dirty. It's been at Foy's Mall, where there's a lot of dust. It's been at home with three kids. It's it's a mess. I mean, I, he could really see that my car needed a good clean. It needs some love. I was just like, and, and like, I'm just like, I, no, I don't have money. No, like, I really, I've got to go for a meeting. I'm gonna. Anyways, um, turns out I had money in my wallet. I didn't know I had 60 Rand. And I said, okay, fine, I'll give you 60 Rand. You'll wash my car. And um, my meeting ended up being cut short and I had to leave and I had to go some somewhere quickly so I came back and the car hadn't been washed and um God was just like I want you to talk to this guy God really oh, I'm busy life's busy I gotta go I gotta do this I gotta do I gotta make money I gotta do I gotta be happy I'll go go and boom he does this to me sometimes he does this to me and I stopped and I started talking and Eddie's from Zimbabwe. Uh, we talked about where our kamushas are, which is our home where we grew up. And uh, uh, we just, we spoke about the challenges and that, yes, Zim is hard, Zimbabwe is hard, T times are tough, and we're all trying to get by, like, and, um, yeah, but we're doing the best what we, that we can do with what we have. Anyways, he... We exchanged numbers because I didn't have time and he said, listen, next time he'll do, he'll, he'll clean my car for free. Nice guy. And when I got to the office, I just felt that I needed to ask him, what are the three things I need to pray for him for? And when he sent me, he sent me his prayer request and yeah, I just, it was just a moment for me where I just had this like, softening of the heart and just saying like 
you know, I could have been, I could have been hard and tough and said goodbye and told them to leave me alone. Not even say goodbye. I don't want to get my car cleaned. Or I could have stopped and listened. And every now and again, God does that. He, he actually does it a lot. Um, he tells us, listen, <laughs> I'm trying to get your attention. Can you listen? I'm trying to show you love. And don't we all want to be loved? <laughs> Anyways, he sent me his three prayer requests, which I'm standing in prayer for. And I told him, I'll, I'll be your prayer warrior. And I don't know where that relationship's going or what's happening. What, what God's doing but when he sent me the message back he just said he just said I was blessed today because I met you and that just made me cry because if he knew what I was feeling or the space I was in before I met him <laughs> he you wouldn't have been blessed if that made sense and so often I'm thinking that I need to have this and this and this in place to be a blessing or to do the things and God's saying no you don't you just need me you hear me <laughs> anyways it was my little moment but I thought I'd share it with you because guys life is hard we get stressed <laughs> the storms come they blow and they try to take us down but they will not they will not and I just want you to know that yeah that if you're following my Facebook page and if you're following me I don't want you to think that everything's perfect okay or I'm always happy I do have bad days <laughs> and I do struggle 